half in the bag. Special edition? Who do these guys think they are, George Lucas? Hello and welcome to a special edition of Half in the Bag. I'm Mike Stoklasa. And I'm Jay Bauman. And today we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna review a short video that uh, Jay discovered on the internet recently. Yeah, it's essentially a parody of a real movie trailer and it's done so brilliantly, you, you can't even tell the difference at all. Right, it's made to look like some by the numbers, big studio, piece of shit movie, but it's done so perfectly. Yeah, I can, I can see this fooling a lot of people because of how well it's done. But yeah. uh, anyway, I guess we should show people what we're talking about. This is the fake trailer for a movie called The Zookeeper. Five years later, the world's most devoted zookeeper... Come on, Donald. Let's move you out of the sun. ...is getting a second chance. I hope my being here doesn't make you uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. So comfortable. Ah! Oh, my God. No, it's fine. It's fine. I got it. Oh, oh, oh God, it's barbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you know who made that? I, I had no idea, but what's really impressive about it is the fact that they seem to have gotten the real Kevin James to be in it. Yeah, or a really good look-alike. Really? I know it shouldn't bother me that you're a zookeeper, but it kind of does. Really? So they made this trailer look like a bunch of people just got together and said, we need to plug in all the appropriate elements into a movie to make dumb people go see it in droves. Yeah, the cliches in it are so laughably bad, but it's so close to reality. It's right on the line there. I could see this being an actual movie, sadly. Yeah, uh, for me, it goes a little too far in the stupid department. How long have you been able to talk? Let's see, today's Tuesday, so, um, always. You're the best zookeeper we ever had! They did hit all the right marks, though. Yes, uh, yes. It's, I can see this being a movie that tons of fat, idiot retards just flock to and enjoy. There's a lot of them out there. <laughs> like you've got the uh, the lovable schlubby guy with a woman that's way out of his league. You've got talking animals for no yeah. apparent reason. Uh, it's got really awful, unfunny physical comedy. Oh, crap. Like it, it just hits all those notes. It even has that like obvious boyfriend character that's gonna be the competition. He's like, you know, yeah. it, it's like by the numbers. It's perfect, yeah. Um, cl cliches aside, there's there's some general dumbness in the trailer. That, some? <laughs> well, there, there's there's one part that stuck out where Kevin James is being taught how to release his inner bear. Yeah. You need to unlock your inner bear. Roar! Well, 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 no, no. Roar! And, and there's apparently no jokes in that scene. It's just him growling and going, Roar! <laughs> It's so horrible. <laughs> I mean, if this were a real movie, it would be so embarrassing for anyone involved in it. Right, I don't even think that Kevin James would be in a movie this bad no. in real life. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's, it, it comes off like one of those movies, like late in someone's career, like I'm just desperate for money yeah. kind of thing. And, and anyone who's an actor, with any kind of integrity would not star in this film. Yeah. Unless they're just a horrible sellout. Um, and I don't know that much about Kevin James. I know he was in Paul Blart, Mall Cop. And that says it all, so, doesn't it? Yeah. So he's it, it, well, it's, it's kind of nice that he's able to poke fun at that image by doing this. Yeah, this, yeah. This parody I think trailer. it really is him in the trailer. <laughs> oh, not cool. Yeah, maybe he did it on the weekend and they thought it was like a funny thing and he was poking fun at himself. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is a movie I could potentially star in. Right. You know? I never would, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have enough of a sense of humor about the dumb movies I've made that. Right, yeah. exactly. Kevin James. The best way to attract a female is to be seen with another female. Come on, so like an eagle! Ah! There's also a brilliant product placement gag in this trailer. Yeah, yeah, all those those real Adam Sandler movies have some sort of whorish product tie-in and with like a restaurant chain or some sort yeah. of product. So yeah. the fact that they included that in this is like perfect. Yeah, yeah, the, there's, a, there's a talking gorilla in the movie and uh, for, for no apparent reason he says he loves TGI Fridays or that he wants to go to TGI Fridays? Yeah. Is TGI Fridays as incredible as it looks? It's pretty good. And, uh, and, then, and then later on, he goes to TGI Fridays. And, and that's the joke? 
Well, he goes, he sees the TGI Fridays and he goes, shut up. Like, yeah, yeah. Like in awe. Right. Shut up. I'm picturing like retarded people in the theater just laughing hysterically because they've heard of TGI Fridays. Yeah, and, and the fact that that uh, gorilla wants to go there. That's also the scene where the gorilla is in the car dancing to that hip hop song that was popular like three years ago. Yes, yes, the apple bottom jeans song. Yes. Apple bottom jeans, jeans. boots with the fur. It, it's always like a dated song, slightly dated. Yeah. And, and it's perfect. The Apple Bottom Jeans song is perfect. And one thing it was missing is they really should have had one of the animals log into his MySpace account. <laughs> just, just to make it just perfectly dated. Yeah. I, I was a little disappointed that the, the fake trailer didn't have either a fart joke or like a kick to the crotch. Yeah, right. Uh, it was also missing like uh, a wacky sidekick, mm -hmm. like a zookeeper sidekick mm -hmm. character to Kevin James, played by like, I don't know, like Justin Long yeah. or like a rapper. Like that would have been, that would have been perfect. Yeah. Well, in order for the gag to work though, you probably would have had to get the real actor, you know, so maybe they couldn't. Maybe they couldn't get somebody. Maybe, maybe it was just a thing where whoever made this knew Kevin James and had him for a weekend or something like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Like it would have been perfect to have like Ludacris in there or you know someone like that, like yeah. as the wacky wisecrack and sidekick. Wisecrack and sidekick, who who you wouldn't think works in a zoo, yeah. but does. Zookeeper. And they even got the font right. Yeah. You know the shiny, semi-reflective, embossed, pastel-colored, 3D, soft-beveled font. The kind that looks like candy. <laughs> Just makes you want to eat it. She hit the floor. She hit the floor. So Jay. How does this fake trailer compare to other recent fake trailers? Like what? You know, uh, old dogs. Penguins! Oh. 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 Um, grown-ups. Oh. Furry vengeance. Mike. Those were real movies. What? Yes? Thank you. This is a real movie. The Zookeeper is a real movie. I'll go first. 